Hi everyone, on this occasion of Dhanteras, a very auspicious day where a lot of people go out shopping, I want to share with you these 13 tips and do not go about celebrating this till you watch this video, you're not going to find these tips anywhere and if you care and if you dare to get the wealth that you were seeking and you want to improve your situations and there's a logic behind all the tips I'm going to share. So hi everyone, this is Jaya Karam Chandani and welcome to my channel Invincible Fashion Talk Show. Today I'm going to share with you all about the tips on how to celebrate this auspicious day of Dhanteras. The 13th day from the fortnight is called in Hindu religion Dhantriyodashi or Dhanteras. You can say the day it starts raining money, the wealth. And symbolically, if you say the auspicious time and the positioning of stars enables you to enhance the fortune. And also, Dhanvantri is prayed that helps you to get the overall health and well-being. And how would you do it? So I'm going to share these 13 tips. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification as well. So you get to see the new episodes that we release every week. Now. The very first thing, try to put on light yellow or saffron color, anything on Dhanteras day. If you cannot do that, wear that yellow entire day, just try to have a piece of yellow cloth, a handkerchief, something with you. It is considered very auspicious. Now the other thing you can do is, you can get online or from the grocery Asian stores, 13 kori, korean, this is called in Hindi, I will leave the link in the description and also 11 Gomti Chakra this is used for prayers and if you search online you will find it these are the things today you're going to buy few things which you are going to use some today and some on Lakshmi Puja for Diwali day but it is important you get it today now what else you can do is get a handful of whole coriander seeds two one inch pieces of sugar cane and this is very important and two brooms, not one, two. The goddess of wealth, Lakshmi, she, these brooms are considered that she likes them and this is something considered auspicious if you get on this day, Dhanteras day. Once you have got that, it is also a ritual or it's said to buy gold or silver, anything metal. If you can get that, gold or silver, anything, it's up to you, but I would suggest get at least a spoon of steel or copper, that would help or a glass or a small bowl whatever you can the other thing you can do is you can download the picture of Kuber and Dhanvantri from online if you google you'll find it and the goddess Lakshmi and Lord Ganesha that you have been praying to throughout this year you're going to use it still today but you have to get the new set that you're going to invoke the blessings on the day of Diwali for Lakshmi Puja now what you're going to do is once you have assembled all that and i believe that before you start your puja you must have done some cleaning it is important what happens when you invite a guest to your home you try to look pretty you make sure that the environment at your home is inviting the same way when you're inviting goddess of wealth and god of good luck you want to be look the best and you make the feast also so in order for you if you see that you have face problems related to Saturn or Rahu, the Uranus, today is that yoga or the positioning of stars. If you can, and I would recommend, you also get a packet of salt, two packets of salt and one packet of sugar. Small will do as well. Before you start praying, the place we are going to pray, try to clean it yourself. It is believed that Saturn causes troubles, but Saturn is all about hard work. But yes, indeed, it does delay things. And Rahu is something that will make you go a lot around in your life and circle. The problems just doesn't seem to disappear. So this is a magical, I would say, solution to it that the day you do Dhanteras, on the day of Dhanteras, before you do Puja, try to mop the place by adding little salt and a pinch of sugar that place it reduces the bad karma or the problems that are related to Saturn and Rahu after you have cleaned the place where you're going to pray on the altar spread yellow cloth and keep the Lakshmi and Ganesha that you have been praying for this year 
and the picture that you printed of Lord Kuber and Dhanvantri. Now you got that whole coriander seeds a handful, put that on top of yellow cloth. After that those two pieces of sugar cane and get some flowers and you can get the help of family and the kids. This way they all will be part of the prayers. Just ask them to get some flowers or ask someone to lay the place, clean the place. Now after that you do the teacup of turmeric and vermilion, haldi and sindhu on the god that you are about to pray. This is during the murata that you would know was given to you at the time you are aware is auspicious for the prayers. You get the maximum benefits and the good results. While you are praying that 13 kori that you got, you have to keep that in the plate which you are going about to invoke the blessings. When you light the diya, when you light the diya and you are about to start praying, make sure you have those 13 kori in that plate. And other thing you can do, whichever business or job you are doing, if you have your business card or if you have a tool, let's say if you are a doctor, you can keep your stethoscope there. If you do Vastu Astrology, if you have a compass, you can keep there. Whatever business you are into, something that is associated with that, keep that on the place of prayer and do the prayers. What you got to do is after the prayers, you light one the, uh, I would say, urdhan dia of made of mud, add in that sesame oil and the wick should be made of 13 strands of white thread. Then put them together and light the dia in the southwest. After that, come to the entrance of your home. On the entrance, both sides of the door, you light two diyas again. And what you can do is write Om on both sides of the entrance door by using a little turmeric and the rice flour, add a drop of water and then write Om. Make it tiny, don't make it look too huge. It's just that you know you're invoking the blessings of Goddess Lakshmi. And this is during that muhurata only you can do. And this. How it works logically, I cannot, but I have seen it. After you have done the prayer, just remember this all prayer is about you feeling right. And if you don't connect with this, then I will say do the way you feel that you are connected. It is all about intentions. And I'm trying to make here as simple as possible because I know in the end your intentions count. But do, aren't you, don't you feel festive when you know that it's the time your friends and family are coming to your house, now you have invited Goddess of Wealth. After the prayers are done, you have lit diyas, the candle in the front, one in the southwest and during the prayers you did, the tools that you have used, let it be there. I will share in detail in part 2 how you are going to do the Diwali Puja, the Lakshmi Puja, this is for Dhanteras and try once you have done prayer, you can do any offering for prasadam that you want to do, any offering for sweets you want to order. But make sure you wear something yellow, that 13 kauris will go in the plate that you are doing, um, you lighting the diya. This is important because these are part of symbolically in terms of lot of problems that will disappear from your life. And another thing, if you have any medicines, those are expired you haven't used in a while, dispose them off. Because when you pray to Dhanvantri, you are seeking the blessings for your health and overall well-being and it's very important. During this whole process, when you go for shopping today to get all the supplies for prayers and also for Lakshmi Puja, do not buy, I would say, do not buy the pan that you're going to make your tortillas on or to be precise, the tawa. This is something, Tava is related to planet Saturn that delays and creates problem. So I highly suggest not to buy this today because you're invoking the blessings. Now the Lakshmi Ganesha that you have bought the new set today, do not use that for the prayers. You are going to pray to Lakshmi Ganesha while with Kuber and Dhanvantri that you have already been praying for this year. The new set you're going to use and invoke the blessings on Diwali Lakshmi Pujan and I am going to share with you that process in part 2 of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to share and subscribe this as well. Until next week, take care.